good day gentlemen and ladies uh, <laughs> I was very well suited up I had that very nice uh, shirt then uh, Ben and Veronique who live in Gatineau and Ben is working at the uh, Gatineau uh, uh, road uh, work uh, city work work and uh, I was going to fill up my tractor and the subject of my video was is the uh, fuel indicator will light up there's a fuel indicator saying when the light light up there's only five liter remaining of diesel and it's an average of average of five liters and i'm going to show you that right now so stick around i'm going to show it to you as you can see just hold on the fuel indicator is very low here it's at E and the light just turned on and uh, yesterday I'm just gonna shut it down and yesterday was not on as but honey uh, stick around I'm gonna get changed well I'm gonna stay like that because I need to have my uh, my uh, diesel uh, is right there my jerry can of diesel and uh, i'm going to get the fuel then and be back and i'm going to talk about the importance to have a fresh diesel so stick around all right in order to get a uh, fresh diesel and it's very important why fresh diesel because they have less water inside diesel will always have a tendency to have water condensation so that's why you try to have your uh, farm fuel reservoir fill up uh, with fresh diesel with a conservative agent inside because you probably uh, use it during the winter time if you're uh, a guy like me uh, who uh, have access to fresh diesel uh, I mean the, the station is not even five kilometers from here the first step that you need to do is uh, whatever you're using to buy your fuel do inspect your filled canister is it clean all right because you're gonna first of all you need to have a clean diesel uh, i'm very lucky for my the, my tractor is i don't have to buy that coffee uh, filter i have an island filter especially made for diesel and then we have we all have uh, two filters on our uh, diesel uh, tractors and on the top of that me the uh, the spout will connect on that there's also a filter on it so it's triple filter but the the main the main thing is make sure that your canister your your fuel uh, jerry can is clean that's the first thing all right now the second thing is uh, when you buy your diesel buy it at the place where there's a high volume of sale of diesel don't buy it where there's a small diesel station where off, not often used so uh, always buy at the station where it's a high volume of sales like the place is dirty on the ground that means there's a lot of uh, diesel going through that that way you have a, a, a very fresh uh, diesel now I'm gonna buy the diesel and I shall be back all right stick around all right folks so I just get my diesel the diesel price today were the 12 of uh, September the diesel price is was one dollars and sixty one Canadian cents <laughs> one dollar and one sixty one and I put exactly twenty liters of diesel it cost me uh, thirty two dollars and twenty cents okay now the first step you need to do all right and this is a, a refresher and perhaps new tractor owner is uh, when you open before opening your fuel cap ask yourself am I at the right spot if it's a high wind dusty environment uh, place where things may fall down ask yourself do I need to fill up at that place change your place all right find out the place where there's less dust less exposure because once that fuel cap is removed yes me I have on my uh, main draw, I've got an island filter which is very, very good, and I clean it uh, well at springtime because I I probably uh, fill it up at springtime, but it's it's clean. But uh, I've got a catch. But uh, I know some orange tractor doesn't have filter. That's why they use coffee filters. But the question is, is ask yourself, am I at the right spot? And what I mean at the right spot is your tractor is even. 
if it's tractor is an angle or bank maybe you're gonna not fill it up the way you want it maybe it's gonna be not safe to fill it up you may chance to slip and that happened to me during winter time i i was fueling nafta uh, in a in a stove and i slip and i received nafta at minus 35 degrees celsius trust me it was a, a burn effect uh, so ask yourself that all right am i in a dusty environment is it safe to, is the ground is safe stuff like that then i removed the dust, the the fuel cap and i put it in, the, in a, a great place and i don't leave it like that i put it down so no dust will fall i put myself a rag around the uh the where i'm gonna fill up the uh the tank the fill up port so if i do any splash or spill the rag will cut it then I do use a general purpose uh, filler, uh, a funnel, sorry, and I do make sure it's clean. Uh, why I say general? Because that's the one I use for my uh, for my lawnmower, for my chance. No, the chance I've got another one. So uh, make sure it's clean. All right. Then I put it inside, like so. The way I'm gonna put it now. The second thing before starting, make sure your keys are off. All right, that should be the first, very first step. Make sure your key is, uh, this is the one I'm talking about. I've got uh, another uh, strainer there. It's a mesh strainer. So it's a, act like as a, a filter. So I'm gonna install it on my jer a military jerry can. And the military jerry can that I have, by the way, I bought it in the army surplus long time ago. And when I mean long time ago, oh boy, uh, let me check. It was back in 1988 and I still have the same. I've got three orders. I know my brothers get two of them. The third, the fourth one, I don't remember where it went. I think it's one of my uncle who used it. So uh, I'm going to regain those uh, very shortly when I move back in Megantic. They are on a long uh, holding. All right, then I connect. Uh, I make sure the rubber there, make sure it's well lubricated. I use Vaseline. You can use also... Uh, silicone all right then i just gonna take like this all right i know you don't see that on the camera but all right so when you're ready because that's not right and i know those electric uh, pump station my good friend joe's got one it's very they are standing i mean you just put the the thing in your uh, fuel ta uh, in your tank your portable tank and then phew, and then you just transfer it's very very good so i'm just gonna Exactly like I do, like this, and the, 90, the nice thing about these is uh, the weight, it's almost, uh, I'd say one third of the weight, or two thirds of the weight is held by the, the tube, the steel tube there. Alright, so the reason why I always empty completely, my uh, not uh, completely, but just before the light turned on, that was the first time the light was turning on, by the way. But I know when my needle is closed from the red NT sign, I can put a 20 liter. It's make sure I have always fresh diesel in the reservoir. And uh, that way the, the diesel, there's not stagnant diesel there. And the water also uh, is going away and getting catch in my uh, fuel filters. I'm going to do another, another video talking about the fuel filter because I have a lot of questions since last year when I removed the fuel filter and I will have also the proper part number. One of you subscriber asked me, my subscriber asked uh, the part number and I will add it to you, all right? Now everything is empty. I'm just gonna take off like this, make sure I've got all the diesel. Some, some. All right, I'm gonna get it attached like this so everything's gonna drain back. All right, so when the fuel, the funnel is removed, I just put the, uh, the funnel in a clean place. All right, then slowly but surely, I'm gonna remove the rag. I'm gonna put the rubber seal. I do, rem I do remove the rubber seal. It's not rubber seal, but it's around the fuel thing there. I look inside the uh, the fuel filter, no dirt whatsoever. I'm very happy, so my procedure was followed. And I'm just gonna put the screw back 
the uh, fuel cap. So stick around for other uh, tips, all right? All right, folks, so that was my short video about taking the right step to a successful uh, filling up your diesel tractor the proper way, uh, making sure that safety, all right, remove your keys from your tractor. I just put the keys back to see my <laughs> gauge level. Make sure you're not working in a dusty environment. Make sure your, uh, your fill up tank is clean. Make sure uh, then you have fresh diesel from a proper uh, diesel station, all right? Who they sell a lot of uh, a volume of uh, diesel, so that way it's not gonna collect moisture or dirt or other stuff. Uh, now, when you're filling up, choose your place carefully, all right? And uh, if you have any spill, get ready, get rags and stuff like that. And of course, make sure your funnel is clean. Make sure then uh, you use a proper pre-filter at the entrance uh, make sure that you're not over filling up your tank that's why I always empty my tank to the E I uh, to the empty level so I know I am able to be I'm able to put 20 liters of diesel in there without any problem okay so with that that will lead you with no problem diesel related for the cleanliness uh, or uh, and the thing I like to mention, since my garage is heated, I don't put any additive on my uh, diesel tractor. I know John or the other guys, and I know there's one fellow who live in northern Winnipeg. It's pretty cold up, up there. Uh, I don't know if they have a, I know John does it. I think John now is getting heated garage, but uh, I really build one do. But, then, uh, but on his land, uh, you can acre doesn't have heated there, so uh, yes, it is important to add uh, antifreeze uh, diesel mixture in my case uh, I mean my garage is heated uh, about uh, 4 degrees Celsius just above the uh, freezing mark which is good all right so on that thank you very kindly for all your outstanding support comment and uh, let's help each other be safe all right be safe and uh, remember folks <laughs> life is very good Cheers. One last uh, safety tip. If I was going to hit the road with my tractor, you see the two safety pin storage that I have in there? Well, when you go on the uh, road, please do install your safety pins, all right? You don't want uh, an accident uh, related if the, you had to stop or you're getting hit and the back will just swing it towards you. Put your safety pin on when you're on the road. My in myself, why they are removing <laughs> because I am almost doing job uh, on my land, so we, which is not a big land. <laughs> but uh, I remember in Shefford, I was putting my uh, safety pin all the time. Why? Because I was living in a steep terrain. My land was about that steep, so uh, I was always all left, uh, left to right. If the backhoe had to swing, that may cause me to tilt. So the safety pin was always on, all right? So that my, uh, my safety tip about the bag cool safety pins. All right, <laughs> cheers.